Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Juicy James Gaming. And today I'm actually going to go through my PS4 collection. And since I also have a PS Vita, I'm also going to go through my PS Vita collection as well. I'm not going to lie, I have a lot of games, so this is going to take a while, so please just bear with me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show the game, and I'm going to give my thoughts on it as well, just and see if I would recommend it to you guys. Some of, most of them I will, a small chunk I won't, because some of them just weren't that great. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, the first game, I actually just, I actually just got this today, uh, Elder Scrolls Online, the Tamriel Unlimited. Um, I played this game first for PC, I'm not gonna lie, it had its share of problems, but Bethesda and, who else made this game? Zenimax, there we go. Bethesda and Zenimax actually stepped up their game and actually fixed it. I haven't played this yet. I'm actually installing the the fucking um, update file right now on my on my PS4. I'm literally staring at this right now, and it's gonna take a while. I probably won't be able to play this till tomorrow. <laughs> and um, once I have this up and running, I'm definitely gonna be doing a series on this. So stay tuned for that. I can't really recommend, I can't really say if I recommend it yet because I haven't played it on the console versions yet, but definitely, I hope it's good. If it is, I definitely recommend it. Okay guys, next we have The Witcher 3. I've made a few videos on this. Obviously, you know, I love the game. For 60 bucks, you get like over 200 hours of gameplay. I barely scratched the surface of this game. Seriously, I'm still in the very beginning, pretty much. What you've seen me play is pretty much still the beginning. There's still so much more to do. I don't know if I'm gonna have time to beat this game. <laughs> Seriously, I want to beat this game because it's actually really, it's really good. Trust me, for sixty dollars, you definitely get your money's worth. Um, they release DLC every week, two free DLCs every week. I mean, sixteen pieces of free DLC. I mean, come on. What company do you know will do that? And then I also have the expansion pass as well, which you have to pay for. But you get an extra like 30 hours of gameplay toward the game. I mean, come on! It's amazing. So, definitely recommend The Witcher 3. Okay, next we have Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin. I got this game when it originally came out on the, la on the last gens, the PS3 and the Xbox 360. I've been a huge fan of the Soul games since Demon Souls, Dark Souls, and then this. The game is really good. A lot of people don't like this game. They say it's bad. But I like it. I really like the game. The game's amazing. It is hard. Don't get me wrong. It's hard. <laughs> I mean, I've already made one video on this. I want to make more, but I don't want to play by myself. I would like to have a couple of people play with me because I think you can play up to four people online, which is pretty fucking cool. So if you're a fan of From Software and the Dark Souls, Demon Souls series games, even Bloodborne. Bloodborne's a newer one. I recommend getting this. It's really fun. Okay, guys. Next, we have Mortal Kombat X. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not big into fighting games, but this one, this one right here, this one's amazing. It's so much fun. I really have a lot of fun playing this game. I've already made a few videos on it as well. It's so much fun, guys. I'm like, I'm not even joking. I, I, I legitimately hate fighting games. I suck at them so much, but I actually play this a lot. <laughs> I actually do. So if you're a big fan of Mortal Kombat, if you're a big fan of fighting games, I definitely... Right, just get this, just get this, come on, just get it, it's awesome. Okay, next we have Dragon Age Inquisition. Um, I've been a big fan of Dragon Age. Dragon Age, uh, the first one was really amazing. The second one was garbage. And then this one, they totally redeemed themselves. Bioware totally redeemed themselves. Because this game is actually really awesome. You've already seen me play this game as well. Um, once again, I have not been in this game. I really don't have time to play many games because I work seven days a week, about 12 hours a day. So literally about the two hours, I'm like two or three hours I'm home at night. I spend playing video games and making videos. And it's kind of, and kind of sucks because there's a lot of really awesome games I have that I really want to beat. Eventually I will, it, it, it will happen. Eventually I will beat them, eventually. But if you're a big fan of Dragon Age, this is amazing. Seriously, it's amazing. RPG lovers, Dragon Age lovers, Bioware lovers, will love it. Just kidding. 
All right, guys, next we have Bloodborne. This is like the main reason why everybody wants to get a PS4 right now is because of Bloodborne. And you know, a lot of people were real pissed off that uh, From Software didn't make this for PC. And honestly, they can go to hell. Because for one, Sony Entertainment is not going to drop the one main game that people want to get a PS4 to put on PC. It's just not going to happen. Uh, Bloodborne is strictly PlayStation 4. And the game is completely different. I mean, From Software did a whole new thing. It's still a Souls game, but then they took out shields and magic. So pretty much all you have is a, a sword and a gun. But it's really awesome. It's real fast paced action instead of. It's more fast paced and offensive than uh, like tactical, like the Bloodborne, or not, not Bloodborne, uh, the Dark Souls series are. But it's still an amazing game. Seriously, guys, amazing games. They are hard, but when you actually beat the game, it's so rewarding. It really is. So get it. Get it, get it, get it. Okay, next we got Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. I really don't have to say much just because it's Call of Duty. I mean, it's fun to play. I mean, I guess it's fun to play. I mainly only buy Call of Duty now just for the story mode because some of the stories are actually really good. Um, the multiplayer, I just know it's the same rehash shit over and over again. It's They just tweak very little things and it's just the same thing over again. I mean, that's pretty much all I can say about it. I mean, if you like, if, honestly, if you like Call of Duty, then just get the damn game. I mean, I still get the game every year, just because it's Call of Duty. <laughs> so, if you love Call of Duty, just get the damn game. <laughs> okay, guys, next we have The Evil Within. Now, this game was very, very hyped up. It really was. I was so excited for this game, and I do love this game. It is a very solid game. Now, the guy who actually makes this, or the director for the game, if I remember correctly, he's the guy who made... I believe it's Resident Evil 4 is the one he made, which is the the best-selling Resident Evil to date. You know, people love this. If you love horror games, if you love Resident Evil style games, you definitely need to pick up The Evil Within. You just got to. You just have to. It's, it's a must-have for your horror lovers. It's just amazing. So pick it up. Okay, guys, next we have Alien Isolation. Now... This game, everyone was so skeptical about it because the last few Alien games that have come out have been complete garbage. They were so horrible. Sega completely fucked up the Alien series. But then this was announced, and I remember seeing uh, gameplay footage from this game, and I thought it was so amazing. I was like, finally, like a good horror survival game that's going to come out, and it looks amazing. It's got aliens. I mean, come on. Aliens in the movies are amazing. And this game, Sega totally redeemed themselves. They really did. The game is so ama uh, amazing. Sorry, tongue twisted. <laughs> the game is so amazing. It's a great horror survival experience. It's very, every time I play it, I get, I'm so scared. I'm all tensed up. I'm just like, oh God, where's the alien? Jesus, ah! <laughs> and Seriously, if you love aliens, if you love horror games, this is the game to get because it's it's just really amazing, guys. It just really is. I mean, you can go onto my buddy uh, Jack's channel, JRC Gaming. He plays a good chunk of this, and you can see just how awesome this game is. So you definitely got to pick it up. Okay, guys, next we got Minecraft. <laughs> Minecraft. I mean, I don't have to say much about this game. It's Minecraft. You know what? You know what the fuck to do in Minecraft? You build shit. You build shit. I mean, that's just pretty much the reason why. I might do a series on this. I might. If I can get somebody to play with me, it'll be a lot funner. So keep keep an eye out or keep keep a lookout for a Minecraft series for me. If you love building stuff, Minecraft's the go. Okay guys, next we have Lords of the Fallen. This game this this game was kind of like um since Dark Souls was not available for the next gen systems at the time. This game was released, and this game is pretty very, it's almost like a Dark Souls clone. Pretty much, it's very similar to Dark Souls. It's just not as good. I mean, I played a good chunk, like, not a good chunk, maybe like, 
15, 20 percent of this game. And it's not a bad game. It really isn't. It's a very decent game. If you love Dark Souls and those kind of games, I would recommend getting this because it actually is a pretty decent game. But of course, now we have Dark Souls and Bloodborne, so this kind of became irrelevant. And it's actually really cheap now too. I think I got this for like 60 bucks. Now it's like 30, 35, 40, I think it's like 40 bucks. So for 40 bucks, you get a pretty solid game. So I definitely recommend getting it. Okay, next we got Battlefield 4. Um, DICE really dropped the ball with this. They really did. The, when this game originally came out, there were so many problems with this game. So many problems. I actually stopped playing this for a while because it was just so bad. Seriously, DICE was releasing up like three gigabyte update patches like every month because there's just so much stuff wrong with this game. I mean, they had a lot to... A lot of people have high expectations for this game because Battlefield 3 was simply amazing. Like, it really was. Battlefield 3 was amazing. I mean, Battlefield Bad Company, Bad Company 2, all the Battlefields, they've all been amazing. And then this came out and they just dropped the ball completely. However, ever since the release, I mean, this game's been out for a couple years already, I think. They've fixed the game. They finally fixed the damn thing. So, and then actually I I heard, I'm not sure if this is true. I think it is though. That pretty much if you have premium, you have you already have all the DLC packs that have come out for this game. But EA is actually going to release free DLC for this game. They're going to release more for this game. So, if you have Battlefield 4, expect some free DLC in the future because I, I actually might start playing this game just because of that. <laughs> so if you love Battlefield, they finally fixed this game. Go pick it up and play it because it's actually really cheap now too. So what do you got to lose? Okay guys, next we have Sniper Elite 3. This game is a lot of fun actually. Um, I'm actually kind of sad I didn't get to finish it. But I mean, I, I played Sniper V2 and uh, Sniper Elite V2 and then Sniper Elite, uh, the second one, I don't think I got to play unfortunately. Um, I mean, I already have a video of this. Um, you can go check it out as well. Um, it's a lot of fun. Pretty much, the only cool thing about this game is you can shoot people in the nuts, and it's gonna, sh it's gonna show it. <laughs> so, if you love World War, II, World War II style games, sniper, stealth kind of deal, go ahead and pick up this game. It's a lot of fun. Okay, guys. Next, we have Terraria. This game was kind of a, a recommendation to me from one of my friends that works at GameStop. Um, essentially what it is, it's just a 2D version of Minecraft. It really is. It's an 8-bit 2D version Minecraft. That's essentially what it is. You build stuff and you fight monsters and that's what it is. Um, I don't know what, what more I could say. I did play a little bit of it. It is pretty fun. It really is. It is pretty, it is pretty fun. And you can play multiplayer on this game. You can actually play up to four people in one on one system so it is pretty cool so if you love minecraft you should try this game because it's pretty cheap too and it's not expensive i think it's like 30 bucks not bad so go ahead and pick it up okay guys next we have Watch Dogs. this game was very overhyped a lot of people were very excited for this game it just wasn't that great i mean it's a fun game don't get me wrong it is a lot of fun it's but it seriously was just overhyped. I mean, it, it was super overhyped. But it's a decent game. If you have a PS4 and you love like Assassin's Creed, pretty much any uh, Ubisoft game, which is like Assassin's Creed and all those, I keep, fuck, I can't remember the other one. <laughs> Pick it up, because I mean, it is fun, but it was just overhyped. Just don't expect too much out of it. So yeah, okay. Next we have The Crew. The Crew is pretty much like an MMO, R like RPG racing driving game. It actually is a lot of fun. You pretty much do a bunch of, you have like a main story and then you have a bunch of side missions as well. And each mission you win car parts and you can upgrade a, your car. You can buy new cars, upgrade those cars. And it's actually a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun playing this. Um, I only had one friend that has this game. He doesn't really play much anymore. Of course, he was like so much higher level than me. 
that I wasn't even, a, even able to keep up. So, but if you like racing games, if you like uh, like MMO RPG games, the crew is definitely a game to go because it's actually really awesome. Okay, next we have uh, Akiba's Trip, Undead and Undressed. I have a small series on this game already. It is a lot of fun, like I'm not gonna lie. I've never played this game before. Apparently this is the second one. The original one was released in Japan, but it never came to the US. So now they finally made this game and it's available for the PS4 and the PS Vita. And it is a lot of fun. Like I'm not even joking, it's a lot of fun. It's just like your standard Japanese anime brawler style, fighting style game. And it's a lot of fun. So if you love Japanese anime, if you love the, these type of games, I definitely recommend getting it because it's, it, it's so much fun. It really is. It's a lot of fun. So I definitely recommend this as well. Okay, next we have Assassin's Creed Unity. I, I'm, not, I'm gonna be completely honest. I barely played this game. I think I beat like the first mission then I stopped playing. But I've heard so many horrible things about this game. Seriously, I've heard so many horrible things. This game could have been the best Assassin's Creed ever because the one main thing people were so excited about was four-player co-op. Seriously, four-player co-op. Everyone was so excited for this. And then I just keep hearing so many bad things about it. I was so sad. I, I kind of just want to play it one day just to like beat it because it's, it's, it's Assassin's Creed. I mean, I've been playing since the first one. But it, I just keep hearing so many bad things about it, and I'm a little skeptical. So I really wouldn't expect too much out of this game. I definitely wouldn't recommend it. Save your money and buy something else. Buy Assassin's Creed 4 for fuck's sake. I heard that's actually a lot better. So don't worry about this game. <laughs> okay, next we have Assassin's Creed 4. <laughs> this game is a lot of fun. I mean, per, you're a fucking pirate for Christ's sakes. You're fucking pirates. You're pirates. What more could you want? It's, it's Assassin's Creed and you're a pirate. Just shut up and take my money. <laughs> I definitely recommend this one. Out of the out of the the, the current gen uh, Assassin's Creeds, you definitely need to get this one. I haven't played the new one yet. I, it's called Assassin's Creed Chronicles, which is like a how the hell do I describe it? Um, I don't know. You can look it up on YouTube. It's, it, I've heard it's not too bad. Um, but definitely, gotta get Assassin's Creed uh, 4 Black Flag because it's a lot of fun. Okay, <laughs> next we have Shadows of Mordor. Now, this game is a lot of fucking fun. Seriously, this game is amazing. It was hyped up so much and it definitely lived up to its hype. It's seriously like such an amazing game. It's almost as if Assassin's Creed meets Lord of the Rings, and this is the product of it, and it's simply amazing. I didn't beat the game, unfortunately. Um, I know a lot of DLCs come out for this game already. I have the season pass, so I might just play this again eventually one day. But you can actually pick up the Game of the Year edition now, which has all the DLCs and everything. So I highly recommend this, guys. You gotta get it. Just you gotta get it. Next we have Destiny. This game fucking sucks. In my opinion, at least. I mean, a lot of people love this game. This game was hyped up so much. Seriously, this game, it cost so much to make this game. I forget the exact number, but it cost it millions and millions of dollars. And then this was the product of it. Seriously, Bungie and Activision just fucked up this game. I mean, I... I beat the game with my friend, which the story was like super short, and I bought the expansion pass, but I haven't even touched this game since it's like the, a week after its release. Seriously, I mean, to me this game is just garbage. I hate it. I, I don't even know why I still have it. I just, I just have it. But I mean, it's up to you to find out for yourselves. I mean, it really is. I mean, a lot of people love it. A lot of people hate it. I am one of those people. So. Me personally, I wouldn't recommend this game. Okay, next we have Infamous Second Son. Don't worry guys, we're halfway through the PS4 games. <laughs> Infamous Second Son. I've been a huge fan of Infamous. I played the first one for PS3 and it was amazing. The second one wasn't as good, 
but then this came out and this completely redeems the series like it really does it plays pretty much exactly like the original game and it's really awesome i mean you can even spray paint shit with the controller i mean that's that's i don't if you don't like that then you're fucking weird but seriously if you're a fan of infamous you gotta get this game and uh dlc came out for it too it's infamous first light i haven't played it yet but it looks amazing i'm sure it's just as amazing I recommend this one. Next, I have Diablo 3. Um, this is my first Diablo game. I mean, I know obviously two of them have been come out before. Um, but this is pretty much your standard hack and slash dungeon exploring RPG game. And those kind of games are fun. I mean, you if you can grab up to at least like four people and play online or play with your friends, it's great to have. It is a lot of fun. So... And I don't think this is very expensive anymore because this game has been out for a couple years already too, I think. I think. But if you love hack and slash dungeon exploring games, Diablo 3 is the way to go. <laughs> okay, next we have Saints Row 4. Uh, the... What the fuck is this called? Pretty much this is like the double pack. This comes with like the Game of the Year edition version of Saints Row 4 and then it comes out with Saints Row Gat Out of Hell. I only played a little bit of Gat out of Hell. I've beaten the Saints Row 4 for the 360 when it originally came out. But Gat out of Hell was a lot of fun. A lot of people did not like this game. I mean, I was kind of one of them too because Saints Row has lost its way like so bad. First, you're starting off as gangsters and then all of a sudden you're the President of the United States and you have these crazy ass superpowers. Like, what the fuck? Like, it's... Third Street Saints doesn't even exist anymore in this game, pretty much. But it's a decent game. You know, it's pretty much like a funnier, dirtier version of GTA. So if you like Saints Row, I, I'd say get this game. Because, it I mean, it's, it's good fun for a little bit. <laughs> just for a little bit. Just for a little bit. But, yeah, I mean, this is like only like 30 bucks, I think. So, I mean, what, what, could, you, what could possibly go wrong?